Hey guys, how's it? Welcome to another episode of Big John's Wine Adventure. And today, I'm taking you guys to a very special place. And you know, this place has been getting kind of popular over a couple of years, but you know, this uh, kind of a kind of a uh, off the beaten path location for especially a lot of the visitors. Not too many visitors know about it, but like I said, it has been getting more and more popular recently. But uh, this place uh, is a gem. It's uh, one of the best sunset locations. I think uh, on the southeastern shore of Oahu and uh, I think today we're in for a really beautiful sunset so I can't wait to uh, show you guys and basically uh, if you look over here uh, that hill that you see uh, is actually the outer crater wall of Coco Head and inside you have Hanama Bay which is the largest marine sanctuary on this island and that volcano they say roughly erupted about 35,000 years ago around the same time that Diamond Head did and we're basically sitting on hardened lava right now this is all hardened lava uh, coming down from uh, Coco Head crater uh, roughly 35,000 years ago so I'm going to show you guys this place um, that uh, is really more so popular for a lot of the local surfers. They like to come here to surf because you get some pretty big waves over here and uh, you get a really lively uh, atmosphere as well. So follow me. Coco Kai Mini Beach Park, also known as China Walls, is located on the southeastern shore of the island of Oahu. It is in the town of Hawaii Kai. Just as you set on Highway 72, right across from Coco Crater, you will see a suburbs by the name Portlock. Follow Poipu Road until you reach Hanapepe Street. Make a right on Hanapepe. All right, so check it out guys, look at that. So it's actually a, a public park. Uh, it's called Coco Kai Mini Beach Park, uh, but the nickname is China Walls. But keep in mind, we are in a neighborhood. So, you know, if you do come here to visit, just be mindful that you're in a neighborhood and just be respectful uh, to the people who live here. You know, try not to make so much noise and, you know, just, uh, just be respectful. But uh, it is a public park that you can come and here it is. Uh, the entrance so Coco Kai Mini Beach Park and look at that sunset guys incredible gonna use these little stepping stones here to get across look at that guys there's Diamond Head right there in the distance Diamond Head Crater so Waikiki is just on the other side of that. So when you do come here, just be very careful. Uh, it is kind of a, a rough trail. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. It can be quite slippery too. Now there's actually two ways. There's one way right there. There's another way over here. I like to come from here, it's a little bit easier. Just be very careful once again. It does get slippery, this little fine dust. All right, check it out, guys. Beautiful. Look at that. And today, we happen to have a perfect sunset. So you do get a lot of people here around sunset time. And as you can see, a lot of people like to congregate on these uh, hardened lava formations. And then come and check out the view from this side, guys. Beautiful. You get people jumping off the cliffs here. Yeah? 
and uh, once again this is all hardened lava a lot of people like to just sit down on these lava formations and watch the sunset let's go down a little further What I usually do is I just kind of sidestep here. It makes it a little bit easier to come down. <laughs> Look at that. Check this out, guys. Beautiful. Look at that. So what you're looking at right now, this is Mauna Loa Bay. And uh, right there is, once again, Diamond Head Crater. Uh, the sun is setting right next to it. Now, uh, during the whale season, this is also a really popular spot for whale watching. Uh, you do get a lot of uh, humpback whales breaching uh, out there in the distance. So the whales, they usually start showing up beginning of January. And about mid-February is the peak of our whale season. And then after that, they start to leave right around and, uh, beginning of March, mid-March. But you still get them. Uh, in fact, I think a couple of guys just spotted one uh, breach off there in the distance just a few minutes ago. Uh, so these humpback whales, they prefer the colder temperatures and when the water temperature gets too warm here in the summertime they go to colder uh, climates uh, to places like alaska new zealand and uh, australia and then in the winter time here once the water temperature drops down they return back and usually uh, you know you, you, a lot of the the, the humpback whales uh, they come here uh, they give birth and and you, you see oftentimes when they breach it's a mother and a calf so pretty incredible maybe we'll uh see one now let's check out the sunset before it completely goes down look at that guys beautiful absolutely mesmerizing now just be very careful on these hardened lava formations it can get pretty slippery here look at that washing over my feet right here as I watch the sunset doesn't get better look at that guys beautiful see if we can spot any whales there's diamond head Now the mountains that you see hop here in the distance, this is the uh, part of the Kotlau mountain range which is a, which is a uh, extinct shield volcano that stretches all the way from uh, north shore pretty much down to the southern shore of the island. And we actually have two of these extinct shield volcanoes. You have the Kotlau here that looks out to the east coast and you have the Waianae mountain range that looks out to the west coast. And both of those uh, extinct shield volcanoes run parallel to each other. Look at that guys, beautiful. Here we go, we got another big wave coming. Look at that, guys. Whoa! Woo! Beautiful.
some of the younger surfers, the crazier surfers, they actually go to the edge of that uh, hardened lava formation and they'll jump into the water as the wave is coming. They'll catch the wave in midair and, and, and cruise down. Uh, pretty incredible. And there you have it guys, another episode of Big John's Wine Adventures. So this is once again one of the best sunset, I think one of the best sunset locations uh, on this island. And uh, once again, nickname is China Walls, the real name is Coco Kai Mini Beach Park. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you guys want more episodes like this, uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe. So see you on the next episode. Mahalo Nui Loa.